Hey, I wanted to point out a, a really important step when you're putting an 820 together. Okay, so when you get a new connecting rod, you can see right here that there's oil. All right, it's really important whenever you get a new one, right? Take these out. All right, take some uh, carb cleaner, some brake cleaner, some sort of parts cleaner, and really blast these out. Okay, really clean off the threads. You don't want any oil on these threads. Right. Let me show you that's that's a lot of oil that's on there, right? So you want to you want to blast all that out, okay? Really get it clean, all right? And then you want to use a, a high strength thread locker, okay? The per, I like the Permatex, this tiny little thing, this little uh, container from AutoZone will last you forever because you really only use a drop, right? Let's put just a drop. All right? We're not going to put a lot because as we go to screw it in, those threads are really just gonna push it up, okay? So we just wanna make sure that we can see, all right, the threads are wet. All right, let's drop it in. Get it kind of started by hand. Just get it started to where it grabs those threads, okay? And what you've done is you've, you've brought it through this bottom part of the connecting rod through the cap You've got it just started, and we're going to put the thread locker on this side, right here. Right. Put a drop of Loctite right there. And now, bring the bolt all the way up, work it back down a little bit, all the way up. Right, work it back down. We want to make sure that that red Loctite is getting in those threads, right? Because if we just put a bunch on the bolt and then go to screw it in, whenever we go to lock it down, whenever we go to torque it down and really just install the bolt, it's going to push all that Loctite up on the bolt. It's not going to get down into the threads and really lock in that, that rod cap bolt, okay? So I just wanted to show you that, you know, that method, uh, right? You can, you can see it moving that, hopefully you can see, yeah, you can see it moving that thread locker, right? Grabbing it, pulling it up and down the threads, okay? And I think you have like a, I think it's about a 10 minute window before it really solidifies, okay? It really hardens. It'll cure in 24 hours, but, all right, I'm just, I'm just working it in the threads. Right, you can see the rest of my area is clean. Nothing's going down into the bearings. All right, I can flip this over. You know, bring this, get it hand tight. And come back in. All right, with my torque wrench. Bring that to 90 inch pounds, okay? go. All right, then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Once I get that locked in, all right, just check it, make sure that thread locker has run out and it hasn't, right? And now the, the end of it, nice and sealed up. Okay, come over here, same thing to the other side. Torque it down. That's it. You need to use the high strength. I, I like this Permatex, Loctite, whatever, as long as you're using, you know, the red high strength. Um, and you're keeping it out of the bearings, just in the threads and on the rod bolt.